Hi. If you haven't played with Splat yet, the Serial Propeller Logic Analyzer Terminal, uh, here's a little brief introduction. We fire up in Tachyon, and we'll just do a reset here on the terminal. We're set up at uh, 2 megaboard at the moment down here, and we have Splat loaded. So what we're going to do is tell it to run Splat. There it goes. At the moment it's just showing random data that happens to be in the buffer. Um, we'll just do a quick sample by hitting the tab key for instance and there's nothing there except uh, as we see on channel 0 over here it's pulled down but or appears to be pulled down and the output or the input is low whereas over here on the I2C pins 28 and 29 we said they're pulled up and the data is high just sitting there okay so what we're going to do is let's set something up here um, how about if we set We'll escape out of the terminal by hitting a carriage return. And we'll set up pin 25 over here is a, a, a pin we can use. So I'll go 25, a pin. This is into the frequency generator. And we'll just tell it to generate a 20 kilohertz stream. And then R to return back to this flat. Now we're going to hit the tab key to take a sample. And we can see pin 25 to come up here. Let's change that to resolution at the moment. The scale is just set to uh, uh, the minimum sample time which is 525 nanoseconds. Uh, it's a little cosmetic I have to fix up there. But uh, what I'll just do is I'll set the uh, scale to 10 microseconds. 10 and hit the U for the microseconds and take another sample. There we go. Uh, let's zoom up a little bit. I'll go to times with the star key. Zoom in a little. I can even make that wider, etc. Three times. Uh, narrow the screen. Drop that down to 64 wide. I can take it right off the screen here too. 150 wide. Fills up my screen nicely. And with a one-time zoom. Thank you very much. Lots of detail in there. Let's drop it back again. Uh, to 75, which will fit within a, an 80 column screen, 75, and change the scale to 1 microsecond. Take another sample, and so we can see the edges. Now what we're going to do is escape out of here again, hit the Enter key. We have a uh, 32 channel transmitter demo running. Uh, at the moment we'll transmit on to the first 20 pins, 0 through to 19. So I'll, I'll get that running by running uh, demo, tell it to return back to splat, take a sample, and we can see some activity happening there on all those different lines. So it's just transmitting individual strings on each of those channels. So what we'll just do is we'll change the uh, sample time to 115200 board, which is what the serial strings are running at, but it will uh, sample at three times that frequency. It's 2.887 microseconds. Probably um, needs to be uh, displayed a little bit differently because internally it it would be what 2.875 2 uh, I think or mic uh, microseconds. Probably wrong there. All right, now I'll hit the tab key. And we get a sample there. That's nice. We can move the cursor up. Uh, let's move it up to this position over here, which I think is uh, 30 there. And we'll tell it to scroll along to the right with the right arrow key, just above the, the full stop. All right. We'll tell it to scroll along a bit more than that by eight times. And then go left. Very nice. Now stop that, hit the space bar, put into continuous trigger mode. Let's have a look at that. Alright, now we can see pin 25, that's running at 20 kilohertz down there. I'll hit the space bar to stop it, freeze it right there. So we see a period of inactivity on some of these channels and start of the transmission there. So I'll use the right arrow to make it move along. Space bar and stop it right there, and we can see all 20 channels 
Uh, I don't know why channel 18, I'll have to investigate that, why that's starting a bit earlier. Perhaps how I formatted the string. And we can see the activity there and the 20 kilohertz signal over here. So that's just a bit of a quick rundown just on how to use the SPLAT uh, uh, Propeller Logic Analyzer Terminal. We can hit the uh, question mark for help and it shows us a few of the commands there. It, that should be updated, how we can set the scale. Um, if we wanted, for instance, uh, I think 42 clocks is the minimum we can use, but if we wanted 100 clocks, we could punch in 100S, or if we wanted, uh, say, 3 microseconds, we would go 3U, etc. Uh, trigger hasn't been implemented yet, and we also have some extra commands in there that have to be added, like the, the continuous run command with the ER. There's the uh, reset scroll back to the start after we've been going left and right. And what I might do is update the display to show the uh, the offset in the buffer there as well. So, uh, the key, go back again and drop that down to 40 characters wide. Why not? You see that operating there, running in continuous mode and back to 75 characters wide running in continuous mode and then uh, zoom factor of 3 in continuous mode and freeze so back again that should conclude the video and give you a bit of a brief idea about how we can use the splat logic analyzer